Okay, time out. What does it say about how great Michael Hayes is at what he does and how much Vince appreciates him when you consider the stories about him almost pissing on Linda, the airplane ride from hell, Stephanie's wedding, just on and on and on. The guy is a wrestling genius. What other explanation would there be to put up with such crazy behavior? Even one of those stories would get you cut, right? You would think. I mean, think about all the silly stuff that's happened in WWE in the last 30 years that we heard resulted in a firing or a dismissal. Nobody almost pissed on Linda. It just goes to show you that Michael Hayes is a lovable dude. Now we know that because we know him in real life, but we can't convey that enough. But not only is he a likable dude and easy to love, but my God, he must be a wrestling genius for Vince McMahon to do this. We all know how quirky Vince is and for him to sort of turn a blind eye, if you will, or just keep him under his employ. God bless you, Michael Hayes. We love you, but apparently not as much as Vince does. Let's get back to it. Something to wrestle with, uh, Michael Hayes. Well, they were free at, uh, the wedding, the famous Hunter Hearst Helmsley, Stephanie McMahon wedding, uh, a pretty famous story here. Maybe he was, uh, overserved a little bit. Wade Keller would write, Michael Hayes made a spectacle of himself at the wedding of Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. An attendee paraphrased Hayes' drunken wedding reception antics. First, Hayes got on stage and performed Jailhouse Rock with the wedding band, and his performance drew a few uncomfortable chuckles and was considered out of place by many of those in attendance. Wrong. That was fucking on fire and was one of the highlights of the wedding. The, the Jailhouse Rock performance was off the chart great where michael's lost everyone was when he took the stage again later that night and wanted to perform another song this time the band refused which led hayes to berate them hayes decided to sing without the band supporting him and based on one reception attendee's account hayes said something along these lines this song goes out to stephanie and hunter fuck i mean stephanie and paul the billion dollar princess and the million dollar talent he starts singing a song, encourages everyone to uh, join in, and specifically Kurt Angle speaks up and says that you're making a fool out of yourself. And eventually Linda takes the stage, snatches the mic away from Hayes, and says, thank you, Michael, in the most sarcastic manner. It was described to the torch as low class and low brow, everything Vince McMahon doesn't want to be. Allegedly, Triple H was pissed off by Hayes' antics, as were a number of guests. Nobody wanted to throw the first punch and mess up the wedding, but he had one coming, said one observer. You were there. What did you think of the, uh, the encore performance by Mr. Hayes? Highly entertaining. Uh, you know, I, he might have had a little too much to drink, but he, like I said, the f- first performance, he tore the house down. And I don't think anybody was disappointed by that one. That one was absolutely great. Then when he went on to sing a song that no one knew what he was trying to sing. And there was, there might've been a F word in there, but that was absolutely classic. And when Kurt went up to say, Hey, Michael, why don't you come on? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Shoot on me. And that's when Linda intervened and just took the microphone and, um, thanked him very much. And Michael went, I think I'm going to go to bed now. Dude, 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 I'm sleepy and tired. I think I need to go to bed. I got an ideal. How much heat was on Michael after that? I don't, I don't think there was any heat. It was a fun, I mean, it was a fun, really. It was one of those fun moments you had something to talk about. Go ahead and tell the story that Brian Gerwitz told at one of our New York shows a few years ago where Stephanie's pregnant and everybody's sort of talking about you know, all the crazy antics that Michael Hayes has had over the years. And Brian raised the question, what would Michael Hayes have to do in order to get fired? And he went through some of these crazy antics where he almost peed on Linda. He maybe showed out a little bit, had a little too much to drink, overindulged at the wedding. And he, he sort of, Brian made up a song, maybe a Beyonce song. I think Beyonce's was All the Single Ladies. And Michael Hayes had a different one. Little stupid baby. Something like that. <laughs> oh, you little stupid baby. Yeah, it was. 
the idea being, if you, I'm going to jog your memory here a little bit. Brian <laughs> he would do an impression of Michael Hayes, and he would say, that baby don't know shit. <laughs> Stupid fucking baby. Can't walk and talk. Who'd that baby ever beat? Yeah. That little baby ain't done shit. And then he broke into all, all stupid. stupid babies. You're a stupid baby. Yeah, well, we had we had fun with that. Talk about Brian and Michael's relationship. Um, Brian Gewertz was the lead writer of Raw. Extremely talented. Brian listens to our show, so shout out to Brian. Yeah, well, you just butchered Fuck his him. story, by the way. I know I did. I, I teed it up as good I, as I could. Yeah, and, but you know what? It's... Just come to a show sometime. Well, I guess we're out of shows. Yeah, so. well, you know, oh, it well. happens. But, uh, no, they had, Brian was raw and Michael was smackdown. Deep, deep, deep. So it was kind of a love-hate relationship, and it was it was one of those that uh, Michael being from the South, Brian being from New York City, it was a bit of a culture clash as well. And they just had, they had a lot of, they had a lot of fun together. But I, I, there was a ton of mutual respect for one another. But it was fun to listen to the interaction. Is is Brian learned an awful lot about the South, and Michael learned an awful lot about the North. 